In about a couple of seconds, I'm gonna show you my nippies! Just kidding. As you can see from this title of the video, I'm recreating this look from the brand new Bitch Better Have My Money music video from Riri. When I saw it, I'm like, uh, am I doing it? Am I not doing it? Is it too grungy? Is it like not wearable? But I don't care, I'm doing it because I wanted to do it. I have glossy lids, very, very dark vampy lips, barely anything else on the cheeks, a lot of highlight, and bitch better have my money. So anyways, if you are interested in learning how to complete this very bitchy look, well, keep on watching, boo, okay? So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to use a brand new shade of Aquamatic, and this is ME80, which is some sort of kind of strawberry dusty color and I'm going to apply that everywhere onto the lid and those crayon slash aquamatic pencils they do stay on forever they're waterproof water resistance so you can go underwater girl right after I'm going to use this extremely bright orangey slash red eyeshadow and the shade is ME744 and I'm applying it everywhere on to the lid then as a transition color, I'm going to apply Frappe from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to start blending the two colors together and making sure they're well diffused right into my crease. And after I'm going to retake a little bit of Frappe and just blend that upwards a little bit without forgetting to apply a little tiny bit onto my lower lash line. And I want to blend that down quite nicely, so I'm taking a big fluffy brush. And right after, because I lost some intensity, I'm going back into that very bright, beautiful eyeshadow. And as of right now, as you can see, I'm just, you know, blending it once again. This look is very grungy, doesn't have to be extremely neat. But I just want to take some time to make sure there's no harsh lines. And as per usual, I'm taking the same color and applying that and smoking it out onto the lower lash line. As for the inner rim of my eyes, I'm going to tight line with Perversion. It is my favorite black liner from Urban Decay and it stays put forever. And then right on top, I'm just going to use the tiniest bit of black eyeshadow you can use any black eyeshadow that you have it just to make everything a little bit more smoked out and a little bit more intense into the rim of the eyes i decided to apply champagne pop in my tear duct and right underneath the brow it is a beautiful highlighter and then we can move on to the blush i'm taking a very kind of natural looking blush it is ever sun from mac it was released like ages ago but i really really like it and as a highlight, I'm retaking Champagne Pop. It is super bright, super stark. It is not a natural highlight, but it is nonetheless a very beautiful one. As for the lips, I'm going to take Night Moth by MAC and lining my lips pretty much, you know, overboard because Riri has voluptuous lips that I adore. And I'm going to fill them in with the same pencil. And then, right on top, I'm going to take this color that I've been saving forever from ColourPop Cosmetics. And it is called Feminist. It is an extremely, extremely dark, almost a black, purple um, lipstick. And the piece de resistance is the gloss onto the lids. This step you can, you know, skip because it is not super long wearing, but I love the effect of it. So we have it guys, here it is on my face. It is so hot today, like everything is melting. The gloss I have on my lids is about to like run down my face. It is what it is, it is extremely hot. I am just bitching away. I'm sweating between my <laughs> natural folds, meaning my, you know, love handles. I have a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys very soon and don't forget to follow me on my social media where, which will be listed down below. Holla! So I'm going to test the stick form for you guys today and I'm not applying any sort of primer. I just want to see how the foundation